everybody, welcome back to another edition of The Five Cast. I'm Mariko Izumi. As everybody who watches The Five Cast knows, we provide some great angling news, as well as some funny fishing moments. So this week, we decided to count down our favorites in a Five Cast recap. Wait a minute, does this mean I won't be getting paid this week? There has been renewed controversy in Atlantic Canada's fishing communities. The harvesting of snow crabs has always been a touchy subject in the Maritimes and has seen many protests from the fishermen who believe that the limitations set by the local government are too strong. Although we here at the Five Cast recognize the need for these fishermen to make a living, we suggest that if you feel like catching more crabs, there's always Paris Hilton. Not all animated films have 3D rendering. And our next tale shows what happens when Finding Nemo meets Wizard of Oz and some high-grade pharmaceuticals. The Incredible Mr. Limpet is a story of a man who turns into a cartoon fish. And when he turns into a fish, he does just about what any of us would do. He helps the US Navy beat Nazis during the Battle of the Atlantic. The film is rumored to be George Bush's favorite historical drama. Okay, fanboys, we couldn't do a show on the internet without acknowledging the many fish references in comic books. But don't think that they begin and end with Aquaman. The DC hero does have links to many underwater heroes like Tempest, Dolphin, and about seven versions of Aquagirl. There's also many marine-based villains like Black Manta, King Shark, Orca, and the always awesome Killer Croc. Although most of these characters belong in the DC Universe, they all pale in comparison to the unmighty Sewer Urchin. The sworn defender of the city's sewers, Sewer Urchin is the lame linchpin on the totally amazing series, The Tick. Now of course, many of you are wondering, who would win in a fight? Aquaman or Sewer Urchin? Well, we ran through the WFN computers, and the winner was... Mighty Mariko! Come on, who'd mess with this? Okay, we here at WFN acknowledge that Central America might have the angling edge over the rest of the world. But there is one particular spot that takes first place. Pina Bay in Panama has broken more IGFA world records than anywhere else in the world and is the perfect place to catch sailfish, snapper, and all kinds of marlin. The fish in Panama are said to be some of the biggest in the world. And as you can see, the view's not bad either. And finally, the Sultan of Scary, the Guru of Gross, say hello to the Fathead. These bottom-dwelling marine sculpins are commonly known as blobfish for a very good reason. This particular photo was taken at the Australian Museum Fish Department. Although if you ask me, it looks like one of the guys who've been stalking me on Facebook. Hi Jeff! Well, those were some great five cast moments. But if WFN thinks they're getting away without paying me, I've got two words for them. Free agent. That's right, from this moment on, Mariko Izumi is making herself available to work at all the other 24-7 fishing networks. Wait a minute, you mean WFN is the world's only 24-7 fishing network? Well that sounds to me like a monopoly. Not that kind of monopoly. Clothing provided by Storm Tech. Official performance apparel of WFN, the World Fishing Network. If you can't get enough of our five cast, then swing on over to WFN.TV. I'll be waiting. <laughs>